At a time where global warming is a top concern, it's hard to imagine that humans were really close to facing an ice age. New research is telling us that back at the middle of the Holocene epoch, this period where humanity thrived, there was a moment where pre-industrial human activity, meaning fires, burning of uh, fields, agriculture, and farming, was able to raise temperatures enough just to save us for a little bit of this ice age that correspond to the Milankovitch cycles, Elliot, these cycles of the axis of the Earth that change the eccentricity of the orbit and makes the ice ages. Now they're saying that before industrial times, our human activity was strong enough to raise the temperature to prevent this from happening that basically will have prevented the development of civilization. So this is a good thing. It so was a good thing. So climate change is a good thing. Is that what you're saying? Is at that, that what point, we're saying now? At that point in time, it was a good thing because it allowed, though. But what they're saying is, what is really scary is that this, the, the upcoming behavior of humans is going to really define what's going to happen because industrial age impact has pushed the next ice age 50,000 years more. So mainly, we're going to go 100,000 years without an ice age defying what the normal com the, the common knowledge of the, the cycles is that we should have one every 50,000 years. Every 50,000 years. So well, the controversial thing, I think, from my, from my perspective coming out of this is the fact that it seems evident that it's carbon emissions is the chief culprit Correct. here. So it's human activity that is acting as the, uh, the thermostat for the planet. And so we're not only is it acting as the thermostat for the planet, but it's also directly impacting to a not insignificant degree on the orbit that the Earth is taking and, and, and the, the cycle, as you said, that Correct. kind of life cycle that it has in terms of uh, in terms of the ice age, because is it at every 50,000? Yeah, every, not, what happened, the, the Milankovitch cycle say that the Earth, the, the ellipsis that the Earth you goes and his tra it's traveling changes depending on the axis of the Earth. So when the axis changes, sometimes we end up farther away from the sun, sometimes we end up closer, and I'm not talking about the regular travel of sure. the world. I'm talking about big uh, scale fluctuations in the orbit. And they say that at some point, we are so far away at the farthest point of the, of the traveling mm. that we go into an ice age. But now we are seeing a future where the human activity and the amount of uh, carbon uh, of CO2 in the atmosphere will prevent the effects of these natural fluctuations, which is really messed up if you think about that we are uh, defying physics and defying the, 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 the long cycles of the planet. And so, I mean, it impacts on us and it, it just it serves to re-emphasize the critical nature of these yes. talks that have been going on mm -hmm. and we were covering in Paris and the initiatives in terms of reducing the climate change. It's, you know what, it's a, a really good example that this is happening and is real. Uh, this week we, Alex, this is a tropical storm that just became a hurricane. For the first time in 75 years, we discovered a hurricane in January in the Atlantic. This is right off the coast of Portugal. So we now know that we're getting into January, a time when normally our cold waters in the ocean, we're starting seeing the rise of temperatures to the point that we're seeing tropical storms at a moment that we shouldn't. This is part of the research. This is part of the effects that humans are having. Definitely, I think the, the next 50 years are going to be critical. If we are not able to limit the amount of CO2 that we put out, methane, like the case in, and it happens not only with our industrial uh, activity, it also happens with uh, accidents like the one that just happened in California, sure. the natural gas leak that is spewing and spewing natural gas into the atmosphere. This is methane. It holds heat much more than CO2. It dissipates faster, but these are the type of human activity or human-induced phenomena that are are adding to the, the, the climate change. Right, and it's not just the emphasis. I mean, the argument all, often is, is that the Americans, the US have done more than most other industrialized mm -hmm. nations. And it's, it's gonna be critical to see the extent to which other developing nations, such as chief culprits being India and China, yeah. are able to harness uh, and, and, and maintain the, the, the stipulations of the agreement, the climate change agreement that was that was yes. set out in the one and a half uh, degrees and maintain those limits because obviously they are gonna, they're gonna be the chief Arctic architects, if you like, of, the next, of that next period that you've been referencing. Exactly, because for them, uh, their development is still very tied to the use of coal and fossil fuels. For them, it's critical to be able to harness that type of energy in their development. In the, in the other side, most of the world is saying, if you do that, you're going to put the whole planet at risk. But now we know by another research that it was human activity, even before industrial times, that created climate change enough to prevent an ice age.